This is the 8K Nova Whale 3SE resin printer and is one of the best 8K printers in the market and you're about to see why. So the new Whale 3SE has big guns with a 10.3 inch 8K mono screen display and a building space of 228 by 128 by 260 millimeters. But one of its unique features is that it uses a COB light engine which uses crystal light instead of matrix light which has better uniformity levels, like this. Meaning that not only will you get more accurate models, but accuracy will also be maintained, even on the corners too. Now although the machine is pretty heavy, it's easy to move around when needed thanks to the extra space at the bottom. There you will also find some nice stable legs. You know what else is nice? The comparison chart that I have later between this printer and the Elegoo Saturn 8K. But first, I'm not done with the crazy features, check this out. The Whale 3SE has two USB ports, not only for your USB stick, but also for an internet stick, which is provided and I was using the whole time to upload my files into the machine. It's so convenient, takes around 5 minutes to set up once, then you never have to fiddle with USB sticks again. What other tricks are under this printer's hood? When looking at other resin printers, each of them has a few nice user-friendly features. But the Whale 3 has them all. First of all, let's talk about the VAT. When installing it, it has a nice groove where it just falls in place. Then you screw two knobs down and it's ready to get pumped. Removing it is just as easy. You can lift it using the knobs too. As for filling the vat, this is where the second feature comes in. You just need to install the add-on feature and now you don't have to worry about failing a print because you didn't have enough resin. Just throw your bottle on the extension part and it will automatically fill your vat up when it goes down. That's one less thing to think about. Another great characteristic you can find is in the build plate. Nova 3D claims that the build plate will already be leveled and ready to go out of the box, but I strongly suggest you do your own calibration once you first get it. You need to play around with the top 6 screws and a piece of paper until it's in the right place. And what's great about this method is, once you fix it, it's staying there. You don't need to worry about the build plate for quite some time. And don't worry, when your model is ready, it's an easy process of removing the plate from the machine. I haven't had any problems with my models not sticking to my build plate. If anything, I need to adjust my settings to make it easier to remove them, which I learned the hard way with this print. With only 5 bottom layers, it managed to get pretty stuck. Now, the term 8K doesn't say much about printers. Instead, you have to look at the micron measurements. This printer can go down to 30 microns. That's so small it's pretty hard to comprehend, so here's an example. Here you have 0.25 mm supports. That's 250 microns and this printer goes to 30. That's almost 10 times smaller than this support. Now that is insanely small. Some other cool and user friendly features that this printer has are 1. Print speed is relatively high with a 1.5 to 2 second exposure rate. 2. It has an auto cleaning system for your VAT slash FEP sheet, which uses a little amount of resin to harden a full layer on your FEP sheet and then you can easily peel it off. This is to remove any failed prints or supports that you might have in your VAT. You get a pop up on your screen to do this and it appears right at the end of your print. Very convenient. No need to start looking through the settings to find that. 3. You can test your UV lights at any time to see if there's anything wrong with the machine. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this printer is perfect, after all perfection is pretty hard to achieve. For example, it would be nice to see Nova provide a screen protector for its display, just in case you spill something while resin 3D printing and removing your vat, which if you're careful shouldn't happen. The vat auto feeding system is great, but the bottle cap doesn't fit all of the models, it does fit most of them though. But the biggest problem is that not all slicers are compatible with this printer. Nova 3D says that its printer works with its own slicer, Nova Maker, as well as G2Box and Lychee. But it seems like the printer configurations haven't been updated to G2Box or Lychee yet. 
So you can still use Lightyear and Cheaterbox for positioning, editing and supports and once you get the perfect supports then you have to do your final slice in Nova Maker. So that's one extra step you have to do on the Nova 3D printer. At least for now. So yeah, the cons are not that significant. Since most of us use resin printers for models and miniatures, let's check the quality and details of these models. Let's start off with the test prints. Here are some models made using Nova 3D's 8K resin. We have the Makerook, Seraya Tech test model, and the Amera Labs model. The Makerook came out perfectly. You see every detail, including the text, the stairs inside, and even the ultra mini swirl inside is smooth. The Seraya Tech model warped a bit, but that's most likely because I cured it too long. Apart from that, you can clearly see every support on the cube. The cube itself boasts high detail. All crosses came out amazing. Even the 0.15mm one has crisp lines. The 0.15 cylinder didn't pass the test, which means you need more exposure if you want that refined details. Exposure times were always 2 seconds on these tests. As for the Amerilabs model, you get this crucial circle here. This circle still has a cross in it. The mini tower still has its needles. And the checker area looks pretty good to me. The first model I printed was the Nova 3D model. The white marks are because I didn't dry the model long enough. But look at these sphere shapes. Not a single fail, even the small one. I mean, here is a pen beside it to compare sizes. You get so many details here. As for the miniatures, here are some of those. Kamagichi, looking good, but supports could have been placed in better areas. Bitcoin with immaculate details. Moon Knight, looking wicked. And a dragon which printed every single detail and only has a mini fail because of weak supports on the wing. All in all, I was impressed by the accuracy, details and ease of use of this printer. Any beginner can get good at this printer within a few days and intermediate users can fully utilize its features almost instantly. So how does the Whale 3SE compare to one of its strongest competitors, the Elegoo Saturn 8K? Here is a chart, let's check it out. Build size? Nova wins. Resolution? Although both are 8K and both have around 30 micron definition, Nova uses a newer light COB with the crystal engine, so Nova wins. Extra features? Nova wins for the auto feeding system, auto clean system, long term bed leveling and Wi-Fi control. But the Elegoo wins for having an FAP 2.0 sheet and accessibility of different slicers. Price wise, Nova is around $100 more expensive than the Saturn. So if you're looking for a printer that covers all the essentials, 8K quality and a big build plate. For a little extra cost but a lot more convenience, the Whale 3 is top tier. Here is everything that comes inside the box. I'll definitely leave links for the printer in the description. If you're interested in other 8 and 12k printers, that's coming soon, so make sure to subscribe. So what do you think about the Nova printer? Mention it in the comments below. And check these two videos out here, they will help you find the printer you need. And have a great day.